Good. Okay. Uh, it is a special November is coming in. November 11 in Chinese is called the Single Man and Woman's Day. <laughs> uh, it's uh, every year November 11 is a become a big holiday in China. Uh, <clears throat> despite that, today I would like to talk about a relationship. Relationship uh, in Chinese called the emotion of love, ai qing. Uh, I mean love, qing mean emotion, affection. Emotion, affection of the love. That's called relationship between men and women. Of course, the relationship also covers the friendship and all the friendship. I guess between the uh, husband and wife and relationship between uh, boyfriend, girlfriends and partner, it's about the in Taoism, we say the black and white. Uh, one time, I talk about the yin yang, black and white. You have ninety percent the difference, but ten percent the same. Uh, embracing each other's difference. So, um, why nowadays there are more than the fifty to sixty percent of people divorce and not get along in this in this planet? Um, why the ancient time, even back to 50 years ago, our relationship is still uh, better, um, better. And in the recently, in the 30, 40 years, uh, the world's race continue uprising up to the 60%. Is it because of stress? Is it because everybody had their own indi individual ring? Uh, intelligent value status and uh, all those reasons might make up the difference why today is people so easy just throw in the tower and separate and divorce quickly um, in Taoism a small talk about is respecting the difference and work on the same. Relationship is about the 90% can be the difference and we respect the difference. And as long as you can carry each other's 10% in your soul, in each other's, carry each other's soul in your own heart, then relationship might work. <coughs> However, today I like to pursue in the relationship Relationship to, to us to think about is more like enrichment of each other, nourishing each other, supporting, understanding each other. Supporting and understanding each other. Today when people, two people get together, marry together, it's more things to be like raising a family, making children, you know, making a life go on, making the money and supporting family. Um, it's about, in Chinese, say it's about cha mi yu yan chu. It's all about the, what, the tea, the rice, the vinegar, the salt, and, and sugar. Uh, is the relationship husband and wife supposed not only focus on family, only family matter, uh, raising children matter. Two people get together because of love and they hold hand together and vow to go on the rest of their, their life. I mean, that's very encouragement, very encouraged, very uh, great thing. <clears throat> Relationship is not just only about this family material thing. Relationship should be enrichment and nourishing of each other. When you start a journey together, go on a journey, maybe a third of journey, maybe halfway or three quarter of journey, you can supporting each other, understand of each other, 
But when it comes to the one third, one half, or three quarter of the journey, people might find them, them each other. One of each other might find the spirit dying. Uh, the two people together should be a soul enrichment. They feeding each other with love, feeding each other with retrition. Uh, love is about supporting, feeding, nourishing each other. Um, love, yes, it is important nourishment to get two people together as a nourishment. But what if one do not get in this kind of rich enrichment, rich nourishment from your partner? Love is not only material, but also spiritual. I think the man and woman in this life journey, in the planet life journey, is about growing their spirituality, not in an only focus on material life. Material life, we've done the 50 journey already, we've done the 50 times already, it didn't get us nowhere. Uh, we come back again and again, again and again, reincarnating. Uh, we're searching for a reason why we're in this planet. Growing spirituality is important. And two partner, husband and wife, supposed to be a spiritual partner. Um, a companionship in the journey that feeding each other and push each other like the partner is supposed to be like bend down use your shoulder raise the other partner higher is that you you challenge your partner to grow spiritual more higher quality you help raising your partner to another level higher so that your partner can see the spiritual vision much more further and clearer. Um, if we only focus on material, raising our children, making children, you know, paying the mortgage, well, that's important thing, but it's not as important as each other's feeding each other with soul. Feeding each other's soul with spiritual nourishment. Encourage the other party into searching for truth in spirituality. Searching for the vision of spirituality. And help the other partner see clear. Act as the not only a friend, maybe can act as a guide, as a teacher sometime. You know, it's very helpful. A, a great relationship should be serve each other as a guy, spiritual guy, uh, to help other person see through the mist. They can see through the cloud. When the one person feels spiritually down, the other person can give him a great spiritual nourishment, help somebody up, brush somebody's cloud so they can see the further, see the vision clear. So relationship is about what? It is about enrichment. It's about nourishment. That can you be in a relationship to serve as a spiritual guide for your partner? a spiritual teacher, or at least a spiritual helper. Okay, being there, willing what? To give your partner a lift. If that's agreeable with all of your audience out there, then you need to ask yourself a question. What can I do? How much should I do to improve my own spiritual quality? By through study, searching, questing for spiritual journey, study with other spiritual people, uh, reading more material, keep your body healthy. That way you are training yourself to be spiritual fit. 
That way you can always in the relationship and feel like you are, you're rich in spirit, you have something to offer, you have an extra tool to help your partner go one step higher. Instead, when you don't study, when you don't improve yourself, you allow yourself physically down, unhealthy, and include, allow yourself sitting on the couch be a potato. Uh, you know, allow yourself not study, not improve, and you become like a pesticide. You know, you, you're just sucking your partner's energy. Um, being sick in spirit, um, then you become, not only you cannot offer any spiritual help, spiritual enrichment, you actually become what? Become a burden. You actually become burden, you drag your partner's feet uh, so that your partner cannot go further. Love is what's very beginning. A partner, when they marry, uh, is vowed for love. But yet, you can stay in love and die in your spirit. And that is not a good marriage. But many of us choose to do so. A lot of people in relationship choose to devote and sacrifice. They sacrifice for the children. For the family or for their partner, uh, they want to, uh, to 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 sacrifice. So they they die in spirit. They die what uh, eventually sometimes physical death, mental death, or spiritual is death by staying in the marriage, which they think that's called love. Uh, they thought that's important, but in the uh, in true Taoism speaking. And that is in which each every one of us spirits encourage everyone to see the truth. Walk on the journey with bravery, with freedom, to see the truth on themselves. Always in this life journey is about you questing for your spiritual journey to see the truth, to find the all the opportunity uh, to build out your perspective possibility to see the truth, to su fulfill your mission on this journey. Uh, to, so it, love, family is one important part of life, but then the most important you still see, need to seek uh, the true mission in your <coughs> spiritual journey. So for that speaking, that each and every one of us must know, must know, your spiritual mission to fulfill your spiritual journey, enrich your soul, not letting your soul die, but to free your soul is more important. In a relationship, it's not about sacrifice, to devote sacrifice to the death. It's about helping each other seek the truth. Seek the truth. Um, so, if you lost ability to help your partner in reaching them, then you should be gracefully bow out. So be gracefully what step back. Relationship is not about punishment and persecuting the difference. Uh, quite often, a true relationship, a good relationship, there is nothing right or wrong. It's not you're right or she's wrong. And there, it's very dif difficult and challenge to define the right or wrong because everybody, these two people live in a completely different channel and frequency. You vibrating your own frequency, he vibrating his in vibration to his frequency. There is no right or wrong in it. So there is no need to persecute who's right and who's wrong. Okay? Who's better, who's less better. Okay? It's simply the frequency just do not sync together. It's simply is getting what? Departure to split in different direction. So in our relationship, uh, should be what? 
gratefully wish the other party to go on pursuing their own channel, uh, pursuing their own frequency, respect and understand and forgive uh, with the best wish for the person to departure, rather than hold them on and beat the person to death. Persecute the person to until they could not get gets up anymore. Uh, so what? We should extend our love, the original love that bring you two together. Uh, we honor that love by gracefully wish other person departure in the better journey. And that is love. That is love. Um, we treasure what you have together and honor them and then respect them. Okay? And cultivating. Um, virg the best relationship is about cultivating a love together. Cultivating love is not only material, spiritual, emotional love all together. That's the best scenario when the two can cultivate all the love quality together. Okay? Relationship cultivating material and spiritual together. Spiritual is more important than the material because spiritual that make you alive and freedom. Okay? Material goes through the day by day and supporting understanding each other. It is important. However, spiritual which really make you alive, make you joyful and happy. Joy and happiness is the only purpose of life. And we must preserve that spirit. When you in a relationship felt that you lost the quality of joy and happiness, you felt like you become drier and drier, your, your spirits get dry. That you can't feel the uh, love. You cannot feel you on your mission, questing for your spiritual vision. That means you are dying in spirit. Then you must honor your true spirit, awakening your master from within. Continue <coughs> readjusting your direction of your journey and your life and seeking the truth. Honor the truth, okay? Start dialect and communication with your partner and let your partner understand that your spirit is dying, that you cannot see the truth, you cannot, your visions get blurry, you, you need the nourishment, you need a challenge from your partner, right? You need a partner to push you, be truthful, push you further, help you, See the confusions. Uh, if your partner do not have this ability, then that partner must be truthful and say so. That I lost the ability, I don't have this ability to help you uh, and not admire further. Okay? And that's decision have to make. Decision have to make. How we can continue the relationship. Uh, so, Many people turn their spirituality in their love relationship. When their material cannot enrich each other, or emotionally, spiritually, cannot nourish each other, many people turn their soul, turn their spirits to the God. Because no matter what religion God, they turn to the God, they turn to the Buddha, they turn to the Tao, they turn to Anna, okay? They try to see the peace from in it. Well, that is one good thing to do. You see the spirituality. Uh, then you need to continue further thought. You push yourself going further. Okay, life is not only just, you know, the dollar can measure that. Okay, every day we do live in this material life, making dollar to survive, to pay the house, mortgage, you know, car, and food, and children's clothing. I mean, that's, in, that's important, but you know, it's not as important as your, what is your true food and real nourishment for your spirit? 
two partners may not understand exactly what each other's vision because you are completely in different channel and frequency you know when you don't understand of each other then it's not a good match and it's not a good relationship okay and the best relationship yes cultivating spirituality together and what you don't have to see the same God understand as long as you seeking spirituality and understand the other partner's spirituality needed and what do your best go out your extra step not to punish not to persecute not to judge but one step further to help the person to see the truths of that person's choice and one extra step forward to understand he or her's frequency allow them to be in the frequency my master used to say live and let live you live in your own channel and your own frequency you must allow the other person to live in their own frequency their own channel allow them to live the way how they live where they live you know that's their choice and that choice right or wrong is not up to me it's up to their own God, up to their own spirit to judge. It is not my choice, not my judgment, not my punishment, so, so to speak. Okay, so that we extend our courtesy outward, just like we'll give our own courtesy to understand Allah, allow Allah to make the choice because they do live in their own frequency. They may not understand me at all. And so, I just go forward and do my part spiritually, allow the person to live. If the other person choose to allow me to live, it's wonderful. If the person do not allow me to live, then I respect them because that's their choice. Okay? I live my way, I live my frequency, I pursue my journey, journey. in my journey, I took my path. And my past, not necessarily your past. If you don't understand my past, then I understand you don't understand my past. Okay? Then it's quite okay. I allow myself to live. I don't have to ask you to allow me to live. But I will allow you to live. This is the key of our relationship. Now, relationship. In, the, uh, in pursuing a journey of love. Love, what well, the best love it is, could nourishing each other. Just I like say, a great husband and wife, and they hold their hand uh, to the uh, from the beginning day of uh, get together to the last day, they can still feeding each other with a spoon. Uh, that's called love. They hold their hand to the, the end of the journey, walk on the parallel journey, okay, still in the end. Because they learn to feeding each other's soul with love, unconditioned love, unconditioned judgment. Okay, there is no con no judgment whatsoever in your love. Okay, love is unconditionally. There is no asking person. You have to be this way or that way. Okay, a good relationship is not about judgment. It's about nourishing, uh, feeding each other's soul with spiritual nourishment it is not only material I mean there's a lot of relationship we see outside it is called what? they tie the relationship together with very thin fragile threat you know they tie together called husband and wife but they are not husband and wife because what? they tie together because they have children because they have house because they call husband and wife Okay, uh, so never too late to learn to charge, charge yourself. If you in the re all this this uh, audience here, the you're listening to me. If you found yourself that lost ability, or you're weak in your ability to be a spiritual leader, spiritual guy, teacher or helper 
for your partner is never too late. Okay, it's never too late. Starting what? Nourishing yourself. Study the study. Study communications. Uh, start dialect. Start research. Start exercise. Start being healthy. That's a step one. You can begin. Okay. Once you begin to do this, you start to find yourself physical to getting fit, healthier. Okay. Your mental thinking more positive, more positive, and you start to to look at yourself first before you try to judging your partners right or wrong. Okay. You become very brave and positive and look into your own heart and soul to look at what is who I am. Where am I at today? Okay? Before what? Study myself first before I study others and save myself first before I save others. Judge myself first before I judging anybody else. Okay? And find your own quality. And if you can use yourself as the study, you know, and take yourself as the laboratory. Study yourself first. You are a step one, become a spiritual person. Once you can do that, then you earn the quality. You know, earn the quality to be a guy in your spiritual relationship. Uh, so, today, I want to say, in our relationship between the husband and wife, love is not only material. And yes, you know, I would love to, to promote love forever. But there is what? Very challenge to say forever. Love is not only material quality. It should have spiritual <coughs> quality. And the spiritual quality is about enrich each other, push each other, and then what? Challenge each other one mile ahead in the spiritual journey. Okay? I might not have to work on your journey, but I have ability to feed you with spiritual nourishment. I have spiritual food that you need. I have ability to give you a little guidance to help you, you know, push the smock out of your way. That is who I am. If I can develop that, I am calling myself a good husband and good wife and good friend good partner in my life and that's my mission okay in the what love relationship that's my mission to be there and if that is key then we are a good friend relationship is a best friend first okay and best spiritual friend then not necessarily have to work on the same journey but to be there be present to listen be present to give advice, be present to rescue, be present to help push extra step. And that is a true relationship. And I hope what uh, every one of you have a wonderful relationship and never too late to make change. Never too late to study, to enrich your soul. Never too late to step out. Uh, your own limitation and step in a true relationship to be a spiritual partner uh, cultivating spirituality together and make spirituality and material love together pursuing the end of a journey and that is called soulmate and thank you very much for listening